Hey everybody, Mr. Crypto here. Um, maybe the world knows already what happened in Falcon, so this video update is entitled What Just Happened. You know, I came home last night around uh, 10, 11 o'clock, and to my surprise, there was so much panic in, in the Telegram group. People are saying, you know, Falcon exited scam the whole nine yards and there's still a lot of of conversation going on in in the telegram group but um, i wanted to take this moment to try and understand what happened it 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 shocked it it shocked me <laughs> that's the honest truth and um you know i have been documenting my journey with falcon coin for quite some time as many of you know if you're following me i ended joining ICOs back in December uh, only because you know I was doing my inventory and I knew at that time it was time for me to kind of hold back and uh, as you can see here Falcon coin uh, started coming back in uh, January about a month ago here as many of you know what happened in January was BitConnect then then USI then the coin but but as many of you know, USI came back, you know, so I, you know, uh, I commend USI. They, they came back, you know, they've run into some hiccups and, and hurdles, but they did come back. But I'd like to really, you know, um, pull up, you know, one of the videos. <clears throat> Just bear with me here. Uh, the title of this video what's go why it's going to be a great lending platform and I showed here their way of communicating to their investors you know this was actually part three and uh, <clears throat> uh, you know it wasn't so much about you know me trying to you know to create an army of affiliate but it was really more of me documenting and uh, and then they had a promotion here. Um, they had a promotion here. Just bear with me here. Hey, everybody. Strategy versus price manipulation. And I gave my analysis. And this was dated January 29. I think this was the time when I made an announcement that I'm not, you know, I'm not putting in my, my link. You know that's that's why you wouldn't see any link in here because just wanted to really document my my journey with Falcon coin so I did my analysis on their on their uh, $10 lending was it a manipulation or strategy and I I know I, I did say that it was a strategy that was January 29 and then um, after that <clears throat> I explained here interest payments and referral links. I think this was a time when I announced that you know a handful of people that have signed up with me uh, during the ICO and a little bit after the ICO, it'll be their links that I will be putting in. So uh, I think this was the last time, January 31. So after January 31, I think it was February 5. Uh, let me just uh, just bear with me here. This was two weeks ago, and uh, <clears throat> before the staking, and, and I explained after here the two day their, staking their promotion, and um, <clears throat> I think this was the time when I started putting in the links of my direct referral. This was on February 17, and uh, you know, power to the people. Then, over here a week ago, I talked a little bit about why, you know, why Falcon Coin, and 
as you can see here, I've I've continued to just put in the referral links of my direct referrals, and um, everything was good. Everything was looking good, you know. Why Falcon Coin? And then I did three days ago breaking news, you know. I can almost assure you. And in this breaking growth news of was talking about you know uh, hitting the external exchange, hit BTC and Coin Exchange. And a day or two after that would be at the coin market cap, and um, you know I've I've documented, I, I truly have documented my journey, and again I repeat I I was shocked I was just really shocked last night, you know today's Sunday, and um, I was I was really shocked, and um, that was three days ago February twenty eighth, and then after that. I did another Falcon, which was 23 hours ago, to be or not to be, you know, and this was the last video I created on Friday night, or, yeah, Friday night, and it was rolled out, I think, uh, Saturday morning. I did this, I think I did this past mid midnight, you know, but, but you'll, you'll see that um, most of these videos that I've created in uh, February no longer have links, especially links of my own. Why? Because it's not about me creating an army and affiliate. And um, I I was just amazed. I was amazed last night. I'm still amazed today. I'm still in awe, you know, not in denial. But I, I do have my, my analysis, my own analysis. And um, do they exit scam or were they, you know, were they hacked or were they scammed? I don't know. My only question is that if they exit scam, why, why do they just do it now? Why do they have to do a lot of work? Why do they have to do a lot of promotion? They've gotten most of the coins when they, when they did the ICO, like many other platforms out there. Not unless I'm wrong in my understanding when they did the promotion back in in February you know they, they still struggled their their 24 hour volume is anywhere from 3 to 5 bitcoin which is you know 40 to 50 thousand dollars they still struggled so I, I I don't think that's a lot of money to 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 run away with is what I'm saying but I'm confident that they've raised a lot of money during the ICOs you know, yeah, they, they run into a lot of hiccups and, and challenges, but they stuck around. That's that's what really puzzles me. They stuck around. They, if, if you know, if the DNA of, of the CEO and, and the dev team is really bad, then they didn't do a good job in, in, in preparing to scam, in preparing to exit scam. You know, um, I mean... Sorry to bring up BitConnect here, but if I understand it right, you know I've watched other YouTubers did some some investigation and 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 found the wallet that carried 149,000 Bitcoin. You know, now that that is a lot of money. But if <clears throat> Falcon Coin was averaging five Bitcoins in 24 hours, <clears throat> and um, I'm just I'm just puzzled. I really am. In the last in the last video, I know in this video to be or not to be, I've I've shown you their 24-hour volume. I think it's gone up to about six or seven hundred thousand. Now that's a number, but that only happened like a day or two, you know. And then after that, they're they're gone. After that, they're gone. Their their website can't be pulled up. Uh, let me just try and and pull this up real quick. Their website can't be pulled up, and it's nowhere to be found. From what I'm hearing or reading in, in, in the um, uh, Telegram, is that their wallet was empty, and some of the information I got, their their wallet had a thousand Bitcoin or eleven hundred Bitcoins. It's not a lot. So what I'm trying to figure out, ladies and gentlemen, is did they? You know, did they exit? You know, did they exit scam or 
where they scammed. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to figure out. So I'm I'm crossing my fingers and still waiting for you know any development news from from anyone you know to to determine i've never cashed out you know that because if you're following me then you know that i have a little over 50 50,000 it's not $50,000 you know because of the promotion of converting your coin into $10 and it's gone up to over 50,000 but what what i wanted to really to really understand you know I, I know I've said this in the past in in my past videos everything is good until it's not you know Falcon coin I've joined back in late October until mid-November you know and they struggled they struggled they struggled in the month of December they struggled in the man month of January but they started working on their platform they've done they've done a lot of work that's what I'm trying to figure out if if they're scammers why would you know why why would they even bother going through the entire you know the entire process of of improving and upgrading and and creating promos and what have you and and finally go into the internal exchange is it is it the dev team is it will or mike or is it someone else that's what i'm trying to trying to figure out that's why i wanted to create this video but in closing, I also want to say that, you know, I know I have a handful of people that got involved, that joined. My my heart goes out to, to all of you. You may you may just be a handful of people, but you've looked up to me, you've you listened to me, you've trusted me, you've joined me. And it you know, it's it's heartbreaking. It it truly is. Truly is heartbreaking to to experience something like this it it just amazes me I mean at this point I, I do ask myself that question yes I know I haven't joined you know any more ICOs starting January 1 but there's a lot more people out there folks thousands if not tens of thousands if not hundreds of thousands what's gonna happen to these people you know my my heart goes out to to everyone because you know, I, I called cryptocurrency as a fair playing field, and yet I, I see a lot of people, a lot of families suffering, you know, including myself, from, from you know, from, from all these things that are happening. You know, we put our trust in, in a platform, you know, but how, how far can, can that trust really go if the DNA of, of the owners or the DNA of the dev team to begin with was, was bad, was dark, you know? How do we find the right platform? When do we find the right platform? When do we find the right strategy? You know, these are the questions that I have in my heart and in my mind. You know, with all these things that are happening, is it really helping the average people or the or is, is the average people like you and me continue to suffer from the repercussions or from the consequences that, that turns out if, if a platform turns out to be, you know, a scam? It's, it's heavy. I, I, I created this video with a heavy heart. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's not a happy thing. You know, it's still Sunday. It's a, it's, it's a family day. Uh, I can only hope that as we embark into the new week, that there'll be um, there'll be progress. There'll be you know there'll be there'll be an explanation. You know, I, I don't much expect from a good news, although the other part of me hopes you know crosses my finger for a good news. But I, I hope that there is an explanation of what happened. I'm, I'm confident that there will be an explanation of what happened because in my analysis the question is did they exit scam or were they scammed? The answer is I don't know. I really don't know. So thank you for clicking on this channel. Um, I, 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 I can only hope for a better, better future. I still believe that no matter how much challenges we go through, 
that we we continue to hold hands together, not blame one another. As as a matter of fact, this is actually the time that we should we should be together, stick together. And you know, there was one YouTuber I think that I've I've followed, I've subscribed to. I think it was Crypto Guru, who said that uh, united we stand, divided we fall. And and he was promoting togetherness. He was promoting. Uh, all of us to be together to be one so that these platforms don't just you know don't just raise money and 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 disappear you know so I too follow a lot of youtubers out there and uh, I'm not here to to create fun I'm not here to bash on anyone I'm not here to give my opinion about anyone as a matter of fact I I commend all the youtubers you know small or big popular or not because they're taking the time to you know to to give information to educate and and just like me myself i i started creating youtube back in back in august to document my journey and um, it's 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 challenging that's all i can say it's challenging but i'm not giving up because i know i've said this before and i'll say it again i know how to accept my defeat because it is what makes us better. It is what makes us vigilant. It is what makes us smarter. Accept our defeat, learn from it, and move forward. So I can only hope that we, that we find out what the truth is in this coming days. Once again, Mr. Crypto here. Wish you all to have a good Sunday. Have a good Sunday. Try to have a good Sunday. Spend time with your family, with your spouse, with your friends, you know. Have a good Sunday and, and let's embark into the, into the coming week with, with a positive mind, with a positive heart. Thank you. Peace to all. And I'll see you on the next one.